you can set up rules that automatically make changes to your current time entries in future time entries. To access your list of rules, click the Rules button from the toolbar. Here, you can manage your time capture rules. A rule can include up to two conditions and an action. A condition can be the name of a window caption, such as a web page, or the name of a process file, such as the executable that is run for an application. Actions can be things like ignoring a window so it will not be tracked, moving an entry to a specific group, renaming an entry, or assigning specific names to an entry. The most common type of rule is a rule to ignore a window or process, so we've added quick commands to assist with this. For example, if you want to ignore time that is spent within iTunes, you can right-click on that group name or on any of the entries within that group and then choose Ignore and then This Application. In this example, the entries for iTunes will be removed from the list and Time Capture will no longer track time for this application. You can open the rules list to see the new rule that was automatically created. We'll show another example that ignores any time tracked for Facebook within Chrome. There are three Facebook pages tracked. Right-click on the first Facebook entry, choose Ignore, and then This Window. The entry for the specific Facebook page will be removed automatically. And a two-level rule was created for this condition, which indicates the specific page to ignore within the Chrome application. You can modify the rule so that it doesn't ignore only one specific Facebook page, but all pages that have Facebook in the name. After accepting this change, all Facebook pages that are accessed through Chrome are no longer tracked. In another example, we want all entries from time slips to automatically merge into one entry. You can create a rule that checks for time slips in any window title and then tracks that time in a specific entry named time slips. All current and future entries for time slips will be merged into one entry. In another example, we want all entries for documents regarding Client Atlantic to automatically be assigned to Atlantic. You can create a rule to check for Microsoft Word processes that have Atlantic in the title and then assign Client Atlantic to them.
you can verify that entries are now assigned to Client Atlantic. These were just a few examples of how you can use rules to automatically manage entries.